Hey guys, Spartan Jazz here, and today I wanted to share a video that compiles Halo Airsoft products and tutorials into one video. I wanted to make this video so that it'll be easier for Halo Airsoft fans to hopefully find the things that they want for their Halo Airsofting needs. So I've decided to do my research and create this video for you guys. Now everything that I'm about to mention will be listed with links in the description below. Now before we get into the video, first I'm going to be dividing the video into two parts. The first part is going to be the Halo Airsoft tutorials, mainly because there's not too many compared to the Halo Airsoft products, so I figured I could get those out of the way first, and then after that we'll be moving on to the Halo Airsoft products. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first I want to get my MA5B tutorial out of the way so we can have room for everybody else in the video. So if you guys follow my channel then you already know that I've created a tutorial video about how to make your own Airsoft MA5B. For those who haven't watched the video, I created my own MA5B by combining an Airsoft UAR version 2 with a Boomco MA5B. Now I know I've said this a couple of times already, but I plan on creating an additional video about how to install an ammo counter and a flashlight into the build. It's a pretty easy way to create your own Halo Airsoft gun, and it's a more affordable option compared to the CB88. Make sure to watch the video if you guys already haven't. Next couple of tutorials coming up are going to be from the 405th website. Now some of these 405th posts were never really meant to be tutorial posts, but since they're posted in a step-by-step -step fashion, I figured I could add them. And starting off, we have Red Shirt's Frag Grenade BB Container. Now Red Shirt originally needed some kind of BB container for his Airsoft Spartan Laser, and he decided to create a Frag Grenade container out of an old limited edition Christmas Coca-Cola bottle to make even his BB container for his beast of a weapon to stand out. So if you guys are interested, make sure to visit the post. Up next we have an Airsoft SMG and M6 SOCOM build tutorial, mainly made for an ODST loadout. This post was made by the profile name of Renus, and Renus goes into depth explaining how he created both his SMG out of an Airsoft MP7 and his M6 SOCOM out of an Airsoft KP06. Most of the materials Renus used for this build are aluminum and resin, but mostly aluminum for both projects. Next on the 405th, we have the profile name Air Navy. He's created his own Airsoft Halo 3 M6 out of styrene plastic and using an Airsoft USP as the base. Air Navy constantly mentions in his post that he mainly picked the USP for its size and the one he specifically got performs pretty bad. So if you guys want to do this build, make sure to get a good USP. There's also a YouTube video that shows off the final build. It took me a while to confirm that this was the same person, but it definitely is. Moving on to our last 405th post, we have Stonewall Replica Armory and their Halo 4 Battle Rifle Airsoft build. Now at first it seemed like Stonewall Replica Armory was posting this on the 405th, but he eventually moved all the information onto Facebook. On the post he started talking about his airsoft sniper rifle, fully made out of metal. And after working on that project, SRA moved on to their 3D printed airsoft battle rifle. I tried to contact SRA for any information about if they plan on selling any kits, but sadly haven't gotten any response. But hopefully if any of you watching have any experience in 3D printing, then maybe you guys can make this build for yourselves. Now coming up to our last tutorial for the video, we have Joel from Sector Studio Workshop and his Halo 4 Airsoft Sniper Rifle build. Now Joel first created the sniper as a commission job, but while he was building it, he decided to record the whole process and show people how to create their own Halo sniper rifle. Joel mainly created the sniper by using a Snow Wolf Barret and using aluminum and wood material to create the body around the Barret. Joel has also been interviewed on the Toronto Airsoft channel about how he did this tutorial. And it turns out, he also created a Halo 3 Airsoft sniper rifle, and he also plans on making an Airsoft Spinker rocket launcher. I definitely recommend watching Joel's videos about how he created his Halo Airsoft sniper rifle. Now that we got our tutorials out of the way, let's move on to the Halo Airsoft products. First up for our Halo Airsoft products, we have the CB88. I wanted to get this gun out of the way first because it's the most common product regarding Halo Airsoft. This gun has been released by Evike back in the day, but unfortunately got discontinued due to Microsoft. The gun can be found on various sites, but are hard to find these days. And if they are found, they're usually sold between the price range of $300 to $700. They also have a bad MOSFET problem, so if you guys want one of these guns or already have one, 
make sure to replace the MOSFET immediately. Redshirt and I created a video about how to do this process. So despite hearing these kind of problems, it's still a really cool gun and don't let that discourage you from getting it if you really want it. Next we have the Avatar Grenade, released by Evike and Red Wolf. This grenade is a gas powered impact grenade that comes with multiple different kinds of skins and it turns out one of these skins resembles a Halo plasma grenade. The grenade comes with a plasma grenade skin and impact core costing around $117. I'm guessing because it's a Master Chief reference, but the plasma grenade skin can be sold separately without the core for $49. There's also a variety of Halo patches sold online, but I figured I didn't have to go into depth about them since they're pretty easy to obtain. There's also a couple of Halo Airsoft helmets that are available on Etsy.com. First, we have the Halo 4 Master Chief Airsoft helmet, made by A Factory Airsoft. The helmet is a handmade item that can be sold between the price range of 215 pounds and 231 pounds, depending on what kind of lens you want. Now, the helmets are made in Russia, so depending on where you live can determine how long the helmet will ship, but the item does have free shipping for the UK. Up next, we have the Halo ODST Airsoft helmet, made by Printing Revolution. This helmet is also a handmade item, but looks 3D printed. These helmets can be sold between the price range of 180 pounds to 300 pounds. And last I've checked, there was only three available, so I'm not sure if the seller plans on making any more. So far, the reviews seem pretty good. There's also a video on YouTube showcasing this specific helmet, if anybody's interested to watch it. We also have another Halo 4 Master Chief Airsoft helmet, made by B-Sides ENT selling at around 69 pounds. There only seems to be one helmet left at the time of recording this video, so again, I'm not sure if this seller plans on making any more, just like the ODST helmet. Now the last helmet I'll be mentioning that's being sold on Etsy is the Halo 3 Marine helmet. Now from what I hear, this helmet wasn't intended to be made for airsoft action, but after asking a couple of airsofters that actually use this helmet for their loadout, they say that it works pretty well for them. One of these airsofters is Callsign Goliath, and he mainly uses this helmet for his Halo airsoft loadout. For the price range of 244 pounds, take this as you will. If you want to reinforce the helmet with something, then that's entirely up to you. From what I understand though, you'll mainly need to add your own interior padding. Another Halo Airsoft product that was discontinued by Evike was their own Master Chief Airsoft helmet. These helmets are very hard to find ever since they've been discontinued. So if you find one, or even own one, count yourself lucky. Moving on, the True Edge Airsoft website sells gas masks with the legendary symbol on them. I guess if you wanted to look like a grunt on the battlefield, then have at it. All you need now is a couple of Avatar plasma grenades to fit the role of a suicide grunt. Now moving on towards some Halo Airsoft guns, we'll start with the Airsoft SMG, sold by Spartan Prop Creations on Etsy. This item seems a little confusing at first if you're not looking into the information about it. At first the seller was selling 3D files for around 70 euros, but the files somehow got corrupted. So now the seller plans on selling physical kits that the buyer can construct and build themselves. And I've recently talked to the seller myself. He mentions that the price range being shown right now at the time of this recording is just not the real price range. But once he's ready to sell the physical kits, he's going to be selling them for around 70 to 100 bucks. So don't let this price range scare you. And also, if you guys mention my name towards the seller, he'll throw in an extra magazine for you if you plan on buying the gun. Just know that this kit doesn't come with a gearbox or battery. In my opinion, this sounds like a great deal for an airsoft SMG. There's a build tutorial of the SMG on YouTube if you guys are interested to watch that. Airsoft Engineering not so proudly presents the ODST Magnum. Ta-da! It's hideous. What did choose? Posse Renya has 3D printed an ODST Magnum based from the Ruger MK2. This guy is selling the pistols for 150 pounds plus shipping. And from what I understand, he 3D prints the whole body and everything, and he just puts the, the MK2 internals inside of the 3D printed body. So, if you guys are interested in his work, make sure to personally message him on Facebook. Up next, we have Duffer Designs. 
and they create some pretty cool ODST helmets and some Halo Reach Magnum kits, made for the MK24 pistol series. The ODST helmets regularly cost 300 pounds and 500 pounds if you guys want a paint job. You can also choose to have a mesh visor or a 2mm PC visor for the helmet. And depending on what kind of MK24 you own, a regular MK24 kit costs around 60 pounds, as the STTI MK24 costs around 100 pounds. And if you guys want a paint job for your Magnum kit, then it's going to cost 250 pounds. Now I know a couple of guys that actually own these kind of helmets sold by Duffer Designs, and they say they're pretty great helmets. So if you guys are interested in Duffer Designs work, then make sure to visit their website on Facebook. Now, last but not least, for our product section of the video, we have Foundry Airsoft's awesome magnet kits for the Glock 17, 18, and 19 series. Foundry Airsoft has three different kinds of Halo Magnum kits. The regular M6 Magnum, the M6 SOCOM inspired by ODST, and the M6C Magnum from Halo 2. Each one of these kits are fantastic. But what if you wanted all three kits for just one of your Glocks? Well, Foundry Airsoft has a deal. A complete set including modular parts for all three versions costs 60 pounds for the Glock 17 and Glock 18, and costing 57 pounds for the Glock 19. This means you can swap between all three of these kits with just one of your Glocks for a very good price compared to just having one kit. What's great is Foundry Airsoft also plans on releasing other Halo Airsoft kits like the SMG, Battle Rifle, the DMR, and much more. So if you guys seem interested in Foundry Airsoft's work, then make sure to contact them through their website or their Facebook page. And that's going to be a wrap for our Halo Airsoft products and tutorials video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I have made sure to do a lot of research just to make it easier for you guys to find this kind of stuff. If there's anything that I might have missed or forgotten about, make sure to mention those specific products or tutorials in the comment section below. And don't forget, all these tutorials and products that I just mentioned are in the description of the video below. So make sure to check those out if you guys are interested in anything that I specifically mentioned. I'd like to thank all the people that I got to contact and talk about information about all these tutorials and products. Thank you for helping me make this for the Halo Airsoft community. Thank you guys for watching. Please, like and subscribe. And don't forget, this is truly Combat Evolved. I'll see you next time.